Goldie here, and today we are continuing our look at the newest batch of icons of WrestleMania promoters. This video is going to be John Bradshaw Layfield, uh, more well known as JBL. Let's take a look. He is a defensive powerhouse. Um, I'm not sure with with blast gems and X breaks, I'm not sure what makes him defensive other than maybe him trying to walk back his comments about Moro Ranello. Um, but alas, um, he is a defensive powerhouse icons of WrestleMania. He is the striker promoter. 26 K earn 50% more short owned coins from battles. Links icons of WrestleMania matching any color gems, charge moves of that color by one more move point. And just the one standard set of gear. Got, I think, five different builds or so. Let me look at my sheet real quick. One, two, three, four. It be five. Um, the first build we're going to take a look at is a takedown build, and then the rest are going to be Fury. Uh, double red with purple one. The finisher being the JBL bomb, 10 MP deal, 328,970 damage. And try to pin the opponent. Red 2, the fallaway slam, 8 MP. Deal 129,456 damage. And make 11 random gems into trap gems. If broken by your opponent, deal 122,849 damage. If broken by you, deal 33,516 damage. And make 3 random gems into red gems. And purple one, the short arm clothesline, 8 MP. Deal 124,435 damage. And choose seven gems to make into red gems. So we are going to do a move damage build for this one. Um, Trickster Woods for purple MP. Tech Priest for 150% to the finisher. Tech The new Tech Brett for 40% more damage to the finisher. This can go up to 50 at 26k. We are not quite there yet. Um, and then Snoop for 25% to red moves. You could also use um, Gooker if you have him. For the belt, we are going um, half takedown, half takedown twos. I don't have any favorable red percents in terms of takedowns. I don't even have the parts to try to level that up. Um, so we have a takedown two and a takedown one with the tested loyalty plate. Whenever you break six or more red gems, increase your red move damage by 75% for two turns. Um, because we don't have a six-star opponent to go against, we are willingly going to take a class disadvantage. Maybe it makes things a little more accurate. We all know it's not going to, but look, I'm trying. Um, let's see how this looks. So because I don't have max tour perks, we are going to have to take a swipe here. In feud, this 8 MP wouldn't be ready anyways. Uh, we're going to make two three matches because we need to break six to trigger the plates. Uh, currently doing 1.5. Short arm clothesline. Let's not cascade. This pin bar is a little much. Maybe just cover up some of his... Primary colors here. We did it. Um, so now it's at 1.7. What we're going to do is put out the trap gems. A little more move damage. Um, it is random. And then we're going to hit the finisher and hope that he matches some and it hurts him further. There we go. There we go. All right, that worked out. There's probably something tricky you could do with the trap gems to try to double stack the plate, but I don't have, um, I don't have dragon and I don't have zombie Bianca. I feel like those two coaches would be ideal for that. Uh, but that is a takedown build. Let's go switch to a fury one. Next build we're going to take a look at is a slight variation. We're switching from a takedown focus to a fury focus and running triple red. 
And full disclosure, I don't have the adequate pieces to make this build look as good as it could. Um, so keep that in mind when watching this get run. Uh, but we're going to do a triple red. We have the finisher. We have the follow away slam. We're bringing in the chokehold 9 MP submission. Generate 11 random submission gems and do 117,251 damage for three turns. While submission gems are on the gem board, remaining submission gems turn into X break gems. And um, sorry to have to report that the braid blade plate does not trigger um, unless it was boss battle, but it doesn't it doesn't work in a tour. Um, again, once again, I don't have the adequate pieces for this. However, um, I'm going to be running Butch for red MP, Batista for an extra move point and a little bit more move damage because I do have to kind of tinker with the build a little bit. Hall of Fame Snoop for red gem damage and then Santa Hogan. If Santa Hogan was 17k and I had that one extra MP, that would help. Um, I mentioned I don't have the pieces. I don't have the Chain of the Colossus plate. I don't have Acro Dragon as a coach and I don't have Zombie Bianca as a coach. Uh, but those two would make the fall away slam a lot better. Um, just being able to rain down red gems and more traps and more damage. Um, unfortunately, this is going to be the um, the wish.com build for it. Um, I'm not even running a plate, to be honest, because like the braid doesn't work. I don't have the chain. You could use something to give you red gems like the Viper Strike or red MP like an Aftershock. I am running Fury 2s, so we do have big damage. Again, we are going to go class disadvantage here um, just to maybe get a better representation of how this would actually look. So traps ready to go, turn one. Again, Santa Hogan would mean I could put out the sub first. Um, actually, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a swipe. And then we're gonna put out the sub. And he's just gonna take all them gems. Calm down there, try hard. Fall away slam, put out some traps. Was kind of hoping we would get a um, an X break into something, but alas. Yeah, that's where Zombie Bianca would come in super handy. Brutal, let's just hit the finisher because it's loaded. Hurts himself a little bit with those traps. All right, we have something to work with here now. That's better. So initially, um, the zombie Bianca would help just because it would help you guarantee you're covering the board. But all in all, not terribly shabby when it gets going. Um, let's switch from the red moves and go build towards his blast gems. Next set we're going to take a look at is available at four star, bringing in the yellow moves and the blast gems. Yellow one, scoop power slam, seven MP. Deal 114,995 damage and choose a 2 by 3 area to swap into purple gems. Yellow 2, the big boot, also 7 MP. Deal 117,587 damage and make 15 random gems into blast gems. And purple 2, the shoulder block, also 7 MP. Deal 120,853 damage and make 18 blast gems into yellow gems. Um, this build I do have the stuff for. So we're going to do Kofi for yellow MP, Showboat JBL, three more blast gems and 100% more damage to said blast gems. Acro Ray for 25% more damage and one more blast gem. And then Trickster Sammy for 50% more damage to our blast gems for the belt. Fury 2s and a Titan plate, baby. Whenever you make eight or more blast gems, increase the damage of all your gems by 
for two turns. So two by three to swap into purple. Bless the non-cascade. Uh, so 27,000 to our yellow gems currently. Fifty-six thousand to our yellow gems currently. Um, Eighty-two thousand on the blast gems, and we turn in these all into yellow blast gems. Uh, Four point one before the defense. Um, that recycles. That'll stack. Good night, Eddie. It's pretty cool. Uh, two more variations on that we can take a look at. Let's go set those up. Next variation we're going to take a look at brings in the six star move, which is the sleeper hold. Uh, JBL getting two submission moves. Let's just call him the submission magician. Why don't we? Um, 8 MP generate 15 random submission gems and do 124,911 damage for two turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into blast gems. So while the Titan plate theoretically should not trigger the sub because the braid didn't trigger the other one, um, we are going to get mucho blast gems on the board for mucho damage. Um, Kofi for yellow MP, Woods for purple. We are going to double MP this, keeping Ray and Sammy for the damage. Let's see how this looks. Um, so I am going to take a swipe here because I want to hit the submission first. Just to make sure I have as many blast gems on the board as possible. So 27k, let's hit the sub. Yep, 27k still. More blast gems on the board. Now we're doing 56. Turn a bunch of them yellow. So not really recycling the purple here, but trying to get a, a bigger hit. I think I prefer the other build for that, but that is one way of doing it. And then one more build we need to take a look at. Last build we're going to test out is triple yellow. So the scoop power slam, the big boot, and the sleeper hold. Uh, two by three to swap into purple. Random blast, random blast. I am going to keep the titan plate on for this for damage, but you might want to instead run. Do I have it available to show? Got to go to in use. <laughs> The it's time once again plate. Whenever you break three or more purple gems, get three yellow move points at the end of your turn. Uh, toss up depending on how many yellow gems you're going to end up having on the board when you decide it is time to blow up the board. It is time once again to blow up the board. Uh, let's just see how this triple yellow flows. Um, so again, I want to hit the sub first. Seventeen K Santa Hogan would definitely help here. Alas. And then checking. We do have Showboat JBL back on instead of double MP trainers, so this the damage output should be a little bit higher. Six eighty-two. Um, okay, so eight MP, one, two, three, four, five, six. Almost. Almost. Um, yeah, that should be board boom. Hey, we cascaded into a yellow match. Not that it mattered, but uh 3.3. So that is an option as well. That is an option as well. But I think Blast Gems are definitely going to be the way to go for this JBL. Let's go ahead and conclude the preview. So that's our first look at John Bradshaw Layfield, otherwise known as JBL Icons of WrestleMania. 
Um, to reiterate, a defensive powerhouse, the striker promoter for Showdown Currency. Um, links, icons of WrestleMania matching any color gems, charge moves of that color by one more move point, just the one standard set of gear. And I wasn't going to get into it. I'm going to get into it. When these icons came out, people were big, big mad about Natalia being an icon. Big mad. Like she doesn't hold a Guinness world record in wrestling. Um, that said, can you please bring that same energy to why is JBL an icon? The description literally says JBL finally lost the championship at WrestleMania. Is this your icon? Y'all need to bring that same energy. Don't be hating on my girl, Natalia. She's the best icon of the bunch. You will see very shortly why that is. Uh, but thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and thank you for being a friend.